YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from E Pool Supply. Today we are back with Pentair's Creepy Crawly Little Rebel. This is a suction side pool cleaner meant for above ground pools. We're gonna tear into this and show you guys how to do some quick fixes. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So again, today we have some quick fixes for you guys on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Little Rebel Above Ground Pool Cleaner. As you guys can see, the cleaner has been stripped. I've removed the wheels, I've removed the tires. You got your left drive kit, your right drive kit. Um, uh, previously, we showed you guys how to get access to this actual cam. Um, so if you guys wanna check out how to do all that, make sure you guys check out the links in the description below. We've got a full playlist where we tear this cleaner apart from the outside in. For today's video, we wanna actually show you guys how to replace the actual um, oscillator turbine here in the middle. Um, this is what it fully drives the cleaner uh, and, and makes it move along as you have your actual shroud over it. The water's coming in, it's pushing suction on that and it's forcing that, that spindle around and around, which is actually going to drive the cleaner forward, which is also creating a suction force so that all of the debris can go through the little orifice on the bottom of the cleaner. So again, this is meant for above ground pools. As you guys can see, it's a very small framed cleaner, so it's not meant for any kind of in-ground pools. Um, you could put it on an in-ground pool, but don't get mad at me when it doesn't clean for you. <laughs> it's only meant for smaller square footage, smaller bodies of water, uh, whether it be a, a smaller in-ground pool or an above-ground pool. Uh, I would not suggest putting this in any kind of uh, diving pool because it will never move. So. For today's, again, we want to show you guys how to get access to this actual center oscillator turbine, uh, what, whatever you want to call it here. This is going to, um, over time, this will start to warp and wobble as the pressure, as your suction side is constantly pushing on it, whether or not it's had debris stuck in it over time and you've constantly had to fix it. Um, they tend to be the most replaced items aside from the actual left drive kit which will actually drive the cleaner this is going to be your second most replaced part because of the abuse that it takes from the um from the pump itself and just just in the actual functionality of the cleaner so very similar to how you remove the um, and the actual cam on the cleaner, you're going to start by removing the, you don't need to remove, just loosen the screw that's actually holding the main axle to the frame of the cleaner. So Pentair's went ahead and started to sink screws on the sides of these axles because over time with chemical composition, use, uh, whatever it may be, whether it's been in the pool during the winter time and it's seeing really hot, cold all the way to the summertime where it's seeing really hot, the plastic tends to flex. So these axles were always having issues with sliding out of the frames of the cleaners, dislodging all these gears, causing multiple issues. So they went ahead and actually took a screw and sunk a screw down so that it actually grabs the axle. So then that way it's holding it down flat to the frame so it doesn't have the opportunity to try to slide out. So you don't need to remove this. You don't want to constantly keep loosening and or removing and installing the screw as it's going into just plastic. Eventually you're going to ruin the the screw hole and then you're not gonna be able to tighten it down all together so again when you're going to start replacing stuff make sure you guys kind of replace stuff uh, all together in pairs so then that way you're not disassembling the cleaner uh, often so then that way you guys are actually making sure that the original parts stay original so once you've loosened it and uh, again if you want to see how to remove this actually you can check out our other video on this cam but you're going to go ahead and push the axle all the way through once I start to pull it out, you guys can see the cam comes out. Your next set of gear is going to come out. The next gear will fall out. And then once you keep pulling, you're going to get full access here to remove the entire turbine assembly. So over time, these uh, the, the plastic ridges on each end, ju again, just like any of these other gears, you're talking about plastic and chlorine or salt. You're talking about a, uh, a high acidi acidity in that so that the plastic does wear over time, especially once they start rubbing against each other, the, the, the solid edges start to round off, things start to slip. So it is important that you guys make sure you do uh, yearly maintenance on these things to make sure that you're not having to buy a new cleaner every season. So once you've actually pulled the axle out and you have access to this, 
Uh, I've seen some where these, these sides are actually out. I've seen some where they've been pinched in. Um, just, just because of how long they've been in use, whether the suction on the pump was turned up too high, uh, whether something got jammed in there and it tried to run and it broke something. Um, it's important that you guys make sure that the main brain of the cleaner stays in good contact so that the cleaner keeps working for you. So once you remove it, you're just going to make sure that you take your new one, it slides in. You want to make sure it is directional because um, you can't really set it down on this side. The gears are going to hit each other over here. So you do want to make sure that the longer edge with the smooth piece is actually on for me, it's on my left side. For you guys, it's gonna be on your right side, but you wanna make sure that it lines up with these other two gears on the side. Uh, over time, you should not need to replace these other gears. These other gears um, only run against the other moving parts, so they typically don't ever need to be replaced. Um, they, they see a lot less wear. Occasionally, uh, you'll have to replace this guy or, or this other gear to make sure that it runs properly uh, in conjunction with the actual oscillator. But typically you don't ever need to replace these, uh, especially once you've replaced the drive kits and other parts of the internals. So once you get that, once you get the oscillator set in, you're just going to go ahead and kind of slowly push in the axle. And then one by one, you're going to make sure that you attach the gears that fell off as well as the cam. Uh, one gear slides in between the other two white gears. So go ahead and grab that one. And then the other gear is gonna slide right here between the white and the black gear. So go ahead and slide that one in there. And then again, if you guys wanna know about the directional for this, you can check out our other videos. But uh, once you get everything lined back up, it just simply pushes back through. You wanna make sure that the side with the screw is flush on the edge of the frame. There will be a gap on this side. It's totally fine. Just make sure that you don't have the axle sticking out on the one side, considering that this is your going to be your left drive kit, which is what's actually going to drive the cleaner. So you want to make sure that you don't have any kind of axle pieces sticking out on the side of the frame. So once you get it all lined back up, you're just simply going to tighten back down the screw. Hand tight, don't use tools. And then go ahead and reassemble the other parts of the cleaner that you've taken apart to get here. All right, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys check out all the links in the description for videos on how to disassemble more of this cleaner and quick fixes. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'm Kyle P. Poolspy. We'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below, and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.